if anybody's been following the 460 build that we're doing, I'm going to add to it. I've got a set of DOVE heads here that I've been porting on. I'm just going to port the exhaust side. I've always heard that the intake really doesn't have any issues. And what I'm doing is basically all I'm doing is going in these cylinders and I'm taking out these EGR humps. And there's another little hump over here. Taking out this hump here. And you got your EGR hump in here. And then there's another hump right here where they beef this up, I guess, for this bolt hole. I'm basically just taking all that material out and then I'm just trying to blend this bowl. You can see the EGR hump a little better here. And then I just blend this whole bowl in. And uh, I'll go over here to the head I've been working on and show you what I got. Here's the actual heads that I've been porting on. Like I say, I took all this hump out here. And they put the extra meat for this bolt hole. I cut the EGR humps back. And then I took out this other little hump that they had in there that was here. And this head here has got the actual holes in the EGR humps. And my other head doesn't. And then I'll show you where I blended all the bowl in. This came in here, cut all this back, blended it all in up to the valve seat. Should flow a little better than what I had. If not, there's somebody out there that'll tell me how I screwed up a good set of heads. Tell me that I didn't know what I was doing. But I really don't see how I could have hurt anything. I didn't grind into any water jackets. That's a plus. First time I ever tried to pour a set of heads was a, G, a pair of GT40P heads. First thing I did was ground right into the water jacket. Guess you live and learn. But I suggest you getting you an electric die grinder so you don't burn up your air compressor trying to do this. And then I got two bits here. I used this one, which I broke. But it takes a lot of material off really fast. And then the one I got here, it's a little bit finer. And uh, it sure does make cleaning it up and being careful. You can be a lot more careful with it. It doesn't take near the material off that the other one does. But that's just where we're at while the engine is getting worked over at the machine shop. And I thought they wound up turning out alright. And if anybody's got any suggestions, if I should uh, work on the the intake side, just leave a comment below.